Hi all, let's talk about incremental data load in SSIS. So incremental data load in SSIS can be done in multiple ways. So I mean, so we can do with uh, transformations. So we can do with uh, slowly changing dimensions and we can do with a SQL Server merge commands. So when we have a, a source and destination, both are SQL servers, then better to go with a merge statement. So now I will show you how to write a med statement and how to do incremental load with a med statement. So before going to show you SSDT window, let me show you the source and destination systems. So here I have a two tables. So one is a source and the other one is a destination or target. So my source table is having a two records with two columns employee ID and employee name I have created in that way. And in the similar way, so I have a target. So with similar structure employee id and employee name so now so if i run uh, my ssis package it should insert a uh, two records into a target table because i have my source contains two records so when i run second time so if the source contains the same records and destination contains the same records then it should not happen anything so now so as a third run what i am doing i am trying to update the 103 record i am trying to insert some other records so that time, if there is any change in the old records, it should update in the target table. So if there is a new records, it should insert into the target table. So that's how the incremental load happens. Okay. So this is the input uh, data input structure. So now let me show you how to write a med statement and how to put that med statement in a SQL server procedure. So here I just created a procedure with the name of a load target and I prepared a med statement like so med target as t so using source as s on target dot employee id equal to source dot employee id so if it is matches if the record is already exist then i am updating the employee name if it is not matches i am inserting all together records into the target table so this is how i need to write a med statement so now let me use this med statement or procedure in the ssis ssdt window so let me go here so i just dragged and drop the execute sql task so let's double click here. So here let's provide a connection. So here I already have a connection. Let's take it and let's write the procedure. EXEC load underscore target. <clears throat> so this is how you need to pass the stored position name in the execute SQL task. So let's click on OK. Yeah. So once you are done with it, let's run this. Yeah, so it's done. So let's stop this. Let's go here and see what is there. How many records are there? So initially my source contains two records. My destination is empty. My target is empty. Let's run this. My source and target contains the same records. So now if I run again, so I'm running for the second time. Ideally, it should not change anything. Yeah, it's done. Let's go to the SQL Server Management Studio and see the difference. So there is no difference because the data is same in between source and the target. So now let me change here. So I'm, I'm doing some updations and I'm doing some insertions in the source table. So let's do this and let's go and run this. Yeah, so it's done. Let's go to the SSMS and see. See, now we updated the name as Bobby instead of Bob. Okay, so if you see the change in the data, my source is the Bobby and my destiny is also Bobby. So now, so this is how we do the incremental load in SS. Uh, yes. So here it is inserting the new records and it is updating the old records. So this is how we do. So there are many ways as discussed. So we'll see those things in the next videos. Thank you for watching.